Well, this slave raid isn't going exactly how you guys expected it to, huh? <laughs>《Right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and the team finally back from their long westward journey and resting comfortably in the bar. Went out for the last couple episodes in search of research materials and find them they did. They came back uh, with a fair amount of ancient science books and a whole bunch of uh, engineering research that I was able to put to uh, great use in the intervening time. I did a little bit of uh, off-camera uh, work of the uh, the boring stuff of me just kind of sorting through menus and figuring out what's what but I researched just about everything I could upgraded just about everything else that I could uh, and also did a little bit of work expanding our agriculture production I finally took down this um, small farmhouse and moved all of the uh, farm production uh, into the larger house and we finally have now we have you can't see back here but there's there's more crops uh, in these spots now that we have the room and at some point I'm sure I'll probably click kick this wall out and we'll go out even further because it does seem like we are settling into um, an agriculture focused society which I really like as the idea of the narrative thrust uh, agriculture with mixed illicit agriculture because we're also producing some uh, booze and stuff since we finally have uh, a fair amount of surplus uh, we're making grog and rum uh, which is fantastic because we are finally getting a surplus to sell, which is great because every time anybody comes here to shop, the first thing they do is go into the bar if there is rum available. It's the first, absolute first thing they always buy. So I'm very happy to see that. Uh, also because the markup in your outpost apparently is just a flat 100%. I had assumed it would be dictated by whatever the region indicates. So whatever the markup is in the general region would be the markup in your own store, but nope, it seems to be a flat 100%. While I'm sure there are many more efficient ways to sell things, I, I if you watch this channel long enough, you know I much prefer the the narrative fun of it rather than the uh, efficient exploit to win. Uh, so the idea of people coming in to buy booze at top dollar in our society focused on agriculture is just absolutely perfect to me. Absolutely loving it. We've also got a bunch of hemp going now, uh, which is great because we have a good supply of fabric finally, which is great. Uh, at some point I'd also like to produce a uh, hash. Uh, but I have some thoughts on that that I'll talk about in a minute. Also, since we never used the Thunderdome back here, I moved the uh, training and expanded what was available for training uh, over near the security office, the place where we're jailing people when they come and raid us and break our laws, uh, which is working out really well because people are training here, and whilst uh, things have been running for research and just kind of letting the game play, we've had a few, like, vagrants and manhunters come in, and these people are just here ready to be tested in battle. It kind of works out really nicely. It feels really good to have them there. Other than that, one of the core permanent things that I've wanted to do for a while, but I still am not able to do, uh, is I've talked about before, I want to make one big outpost building here, one of the big round buildings, and just kind of combine uh, both of these buildings into one, uh, so there is a you know, regular shop and a bar all under one roof. Just kind of makes it easier for me, and also just kind of fills out this space. Uh, but I can't do it yet because I need one single blueprint. The first blueprint is the one that I'm missing. So I don't have much of a plan for today other than I'd like to possibly find some blueprints. So we'll, uh, I'll take the scout team since they're back. We'll, uh, I'll probably run them to all the different places in the Great Desert and see uh, what's going on in blueprints or otherwise. See if there's anything interesting happening in the towns. Another thing that I'm interested in doing, since we are, uh, producing hemp, finally, I am interested in producing hash. But I'm thinking possibly, since we're going to run to all these places anyway, I think Heft has, uh, yeah, Shinobi Thieves. Heft has a Shinobi Thieves Tower. I, I know Hash is illegal, and you can't cross gates with it. If you get caught, you get in trouble. I would imagine Hemp is too, because Hemp just leads to Hash. So, I have no illusions that I can just run ha uh, Hemp through the gates. But, my thought was, uh, it'd be fun to set up like a little uh, drug den inside of a city gate. <laughs> like, inside of the city border. Like, buy a small building inside of, like, Heft, where there is a um, Shinobi Thieves Guild. And do nothing but produce hash in there. So we'll smuggle in hemp, and then we'll just produce hash in there. And it keeps our desert gamble kind of on the up and up. <laughs> I, I I have no illusions that any of this will make any actual gameplay sense. It's just kind of narratively, I like the idea. Like I said, they're, they're an agriculture-focused society. They seem to be starting to push in that direction. They're making some illicit goods. And the idea of uh, smuggling hemp into, like, a place like Hafter Show. But I will see wherever, wherever the Thieves Guild actually is in my... My recollection with that, the reason I'm thinking that is the... My recollection is the Thieves Guild's markup on 
uh, hash in one of those places is surprisingly high. It's not 50% low, it's like 200% up, if I recall correctly. I could be wrong. We'll go out, we'll see what happens, but that's my thought. I don't know if it's going to make any kind of a difference, but I kind of like the idea of having a little smuggler's den inside of a city limit. So we'll see what happens with that. So I don't know. We'll uh, we'll take a look at all the cities. I don't know what will actually come of that. It seems like it would be a fun idea. Like I said, I know it 99.9% won't make a damn bit of gameplay difference. And I absolutely know people have guide upon guide upon guide of the most efficient way to move hash and other materials throughout Kenshi. So you can always make sure you're making the top dollar. But if you've watched this channel at all for like five minutes, you know that I care not for any of that stuff. I like the narrative, immersive fun of it, and the idea of setting up a drug den <laughs> inside of a city where it's illegal is something that I'm interested in doing. So, the last thing that I want to do, uh, which I don't know if, how much of this stuff is going to happen in one episode, but these are the thoughts for, for what's going to happen either in this episode, if it goes smoothly, or over the next couple of episodes, is uh, I'd like to take Hiramatsu and Thinley off of the scout squad for a time, both to do some training. we got some research going right now. We've got lockpick training going for Thinly because his lockpicking is a little low. And Hiramatsu is going to immediately dive in on stealth training with Ikaria, our master stealth trainer uh, of late. And I'm going to get them both up to a decent area with both of those things because I'd like to go do a little recon in this uh, South Stone camp. Um, we have been getting raided by them pretty regularly. Every time we get a slave raid, the little dot that pops up pops up from here and works its way over to get us. So I'd like to go check that out and see what's what's going on down there. There's a ton of stuff in Kenshi, if you're not familiar with this game, that where you can affect the world state by killing people. Um, this is my first time getting anywhere this far with any of this stuff. I've talked about this in previous episodes, but at the time of starting this series, I had like 150 hours in Kenshi, but it was all just kind of starting characters and just seeing how far they could get and just having fun with it. And the whole point of this channel and this series was to take a set of characters into... Uh, mid to late game and maybe even eventually late game stuff. But uh, one of the things you can do when you do get more powerful is you can kill people and change things. And it'd be really interesting to see if we can get down here, if there is like a boss or a leader or a diplomat or something in here, uh, which there might not be. It, it, you know, it can just be that way. But if there's somebody that I can kill over here that'll cause this camp to fall into disarray. And again, like I said, if you're a veteran Kenshi player, you're probably hearing me say that and going like, oh, that's a big mistake. Or, yeah, but it's going to cause other problems. Like, that's the fun. I want to see what happens. I, it'd be interesting to see what happens. But we're going to do it covertly. Uh, Thinley's been working on assassination training. He's going to work on lockpick. Hiramatsu's going to work on stealth. Then she's also going to work on assassination training. And we're just going to go take a look. We're not enemies with them yet, so I can literally go down there and just kind of poke around. But uh, maybe see how well our stealth holds up against people. Um, and just kind of sneak around and around in there, see if there's anything worth stealing also while we're down there. Maybe free some slaves, we'll see what happens. Alright, perfect. So Hiramatsu is uh, going to be training with Ikaria and Izumi on stealth. Her stealth is incredibly low, so we'll get that up. And uh, her and Thinly will make a nice team to do some scouting, but we're not going to be ready to do that yet. I'd say in the meantime, uh, we are good to start our rounds. Uh, let's go straight for... you know what we'll do? We'll do this. We'll go Heft, Shobatai, Stoat, Hang. Yeah. Oh yeah, we also uh, got Sad Neil is defending the uh, security office, which I love. He did a little bit of training on weapons, so he's a little bit better with weapons. Uh, but he's kind of a bummer overall with everything else, so whatever. But he is uh, guarding the security office since people seem to love to run up these stairs. Uh, hopefully he'll... Uh, do provide some assistance in that regard. We'll see what ends up happening. All right, no need for further ado. Let's head out to Heft. I also found a uh, trader came through. I think it was a trader came through while I was researching stuff with a very good backpack that I think came from a backpack mod. The Darkened Adventurer's Backpack, which is quite expensive. Um, but I'll see if I can put these guys. I think I got two of them, right? Yeah, I got another one. Um, Put these guys in those backpacks. Did a little bit of switching, so the so the uh, the archery folk will stay with the uh, traders' backpack. So we have stackable storage, and I'll probably look. Actually, if we're going out to Heft, we'll see if they got that uh, Shinobi uh, Thieves Tower, because uh, I'd like to get large thief backpacks for everybody. I had them all in traders' backpacks, which is great for stacking. Um, it's kind of irritating. There's no like mid-range backpack that stacks well, which this actual one does, but it's a little overpowered. Um, but whatever, I don't give a shit. It looks cool. But, uh, those unstackable 
those stackable items that don't stack really eat up your space. Um, but since this team spends so much time looting dead bodies and picking up uh, armor that doesn't stack anyway, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Rather than take the hit with the uh, trader's backpacks, we'll just use these instead. I may actually see there's like a little thieves satchel thing that I think comes with um, this uh, backpack mod. I might grab one of those as well because we could use that as the uh, hemp smuggling narrative contrivance. There's not, I really don't like the idea of putting their bags inside of their inventories. It just kind of feels like, like, what are you, are you just shoving the bag up your ass? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I, like, here's all this illegal stuff, but if, I mean, I guess in, in theory, that's how people actually do smuggle shit. Um, but maybe a smaller bag, which is what those are. We'll try that. And I think there is a, uh, I'm pretty sure there is a little tiny, like, pouch that you can buy. All right, let's see who this is. Manhunters. I don't have a need to fight the Manhunters. I mean, I don't need us to get hurt on our way to do a bunch of uh, rounds. We'll see. We'll, we'll leave it up to them. We'll slow it down. We're going to leave it up to them. We'll see what they do. If they attack us, we're going to take them on. If they leave us alone, which is all going to come down to pathing. If we path too close to them, which I, thought I was wondering, I was thinking they might turn. There we go. All right. Get them, guys. Don't everybody go for my goddamn archers. Oh, my God. Hate you. <laughs> All right, archers, get out of the way. All right, guys. You can kill him. You got this. I know you do. I know you do. You've got high ground. I love it. Oh, Teaspoon is down. Don't you do it. Good. <laughs> Teaspoon, how did you go down? Oh, did I put... I think I might have put Teaspoon on Taunt. <laughs> I was gonna mess around with Taunt, and I should have put him in better armor. It's either him or Waki. Someone, I think I put someone on Taunt. Oh, Dan D went down. How? How did you get hit? Who hit? Oh, somebody got over here. Holy shit. All right, good job. Oh, shit. What is this? Tech Hunters. It's okay. We're good. All right, guys. Heal everybody up. Dante, what happened to you? It looks like an extra Manhunter snuck over. All right. Let's, uh, we may as well come into the city with some stuff to sell. Let's loot these guys. The comma. VV, knock it off. Your leg doesn't hurt. Your leg literally does not hurt. Don't be limping. Back into heft. Oh, somebody's shopping at our base. Be actually shopping. Someone's in here. Yes! Yeah, no, you can afford it! No, you have to- uh, Don't come to my base unless you got money. Also, what are you? You trader skilled. Alright, good. Oh, are you literally- Were you chasing after us? Guess what? You're done for. No, 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 get him. Yeah, rot in the sand, traders. <laughs> this is another? Let's get him, too. I love it. Chase him down. <laughs> You're not gonna make it inside. Oh, we're gonna get- hold on. Are we gonna get in trouble for attacking him? No. Good. Good. What happened? Did I loot you guys? I guess that must be me. I must have done that. All right. All right, whatever. We made it to half. Let's get inside. Yo, this is the research I need. We need these walls. These, like, bonkers concrete walls. Go on through. All right. I will. All right, let's see. Who's going to have... Also, first of all, what's for sale? 12,000 bucks. 12,000 bucks. 12. 4,000 bucks. I can just make a little shack. <laughs> <laughs> I re I really like the idea of building a little tiny house. Like maybe we'll get an actual house though, so we could put some stuff inside of it. What's close to uh? Where's this? Where's the Shinobi Thieves? Is there one in here? Doesn't look like it. Shinobi Thieves. Boom. Yeah. So maybe we just buy this house. <laughs> I really like the idea. We're, we'll see. I might I might actually end up doing that. I might just do that. I'm I'm very much liking that idea. For now, 
Uh, let's not go into the show many thieves because I think they pay less too. Let's go into the, uh, what do you call these? Mechanical shop. I don't know who's going to have blueprints. I mean, we may end up taking a run to the library as well. We'll see. For now, we'll start with the mechanical shop. And then I guess the general trader maybe after that? I don't know. We'll find out. Somebody's going to have blueprints. They probably won't have the ones that I want, but whatever. Welcome, friend. Well, thank you very much. I am here to buy. Let's do some business. Oh, you do have blueprints. All right. What I need is outpost. Oh, shit. I didn't bring the outpost blueprints that I have, did I? Mm, son of a bitch. Who's got my outpost blueprints? I got five. I got a metal. I got three metal warehouse because I'm a fucking idiot. I got one. I got two. I got five. So I guess I need three and four. Hmm. All right. Nothing good there, huh? All right. Well, why don't you buy my shit? All right. Nothing good there. That's okay, though. We're gonna go have a talk with, uh, Shinobi Thieves, since we don't have anything else to sell. Yeah, we may be taking a trip to the, uh, library. Alright, what do you got? Anything- oh, this is the thing I'm looking for. 2,500 bucks? Yeah, we'll take- oh, you know what, you got other bags, too. Maybe I'll just buy these for people. Uh, yeah, damn it, plus 500%! We may have to try running some, uh, hash in here. We're gonna have to do- I'm gonna have to try running hash in here. Alright. Boom. Now they're all set up with bags. That's fantastic. Everybody that needs a stackable bag has a stackable bag. I also got this uh, little tool kit. Thieves tool bag for Thinly. Maybe he'll be the smuggler. Might use that uh, to run hash in here because I really am digging the idea of I'm probably going to buy like literally this house and turn it into a drug den <laughs> and just run drugs because they're, they're paying like plus 600%. I think that's how it works. Whatever. Maybe I'll take up like a, a piece of hash out here and try to sell it to them. I'm pretty sure we have some hash in a um, in storage back at the house. Might we might take a single piece out here and try to sell it to them and see how much we make. While we're here, we're gonna continue with all of the shopping. See if there's anything worth buying. I don't know that anybody else is gonna have any. I don't. I'm not gonna find good blueprints. It's not gonna happen. But you know, we're, oh, you got blueprints too. Oh, a tech hunter's map. We'll buy that. Sure. All right. Let's learn these. Uh, these locations. Tech Hunter's map. One location. Add it to the map. Let's see. Obedience. A ruin inside of obedience. Alright. And what else? God, we keep finding the farthest away ruins. A ruin in vain. That's interesting. That would have been interesting to find while we were out here. I would have taken that run across the, uh, Sten Desert. Alright. Next in the rounds. Let's head- oh, nice. And the actual road goes there. Let's head up to Shobatai. Actually, how's everybody doing? Anybody need to rest? Ooh, teaspoon's not good. Dandy could use some rest. Alright. We'll, uh, stop in the bar after all. Put it on high speed, let these guys hurry up. You know what we'll do? We'll check on, uh, Hidemi. Looks like she just got knocked unconscious. Blasphemous heretic. Oh shit, are you leaving her there? Oh no, you're fighting somebody else. Oh yeah, so that was the other thing that happened. Is this a robot? It is. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Might talk to him. Uh, Fujimura, without getting talked to, just decided to join the, uh, enslaved. Just out of nowhere, decided on his own to join, so he's on the team now. Oh, hopefully they, uh, they didn't kill this, uh, skeleton. Because nobody's gonna fix him. He's just screwed. <laughs> Panchan's working away. Hidemi might just make it back inside. We'll see. Mila's slaving away. No one to talk to. And Fujimura as well, slaving away. Man, I really don't want to put another Sheck on the team. <laughs> Alright, Teaspoon Dandy, you guys are good. And I say we are ready to make our next trek out to Shobatai. Alright. Off we go to the next big city. We'll see what they got for blueprints. And like I said, if this doesn't work out, we'll head to, uh, the library. Ooh, looks like security is getting attacked. Or security is taking interest in shooting someone. Oh, manhunters. Where's the rest of them? Well, oh, alright. You guys head on in. Nice. Dumbass manhunters. How are we doing on selling things? Can you people buy stuff, please? Oh, nice, we sold some rum. I love it. Also, uh, why don't you, uh, grab this grog? Hiramatsu, how you looking? 
You're getting better. Ooh, you're getting a lot better. You were at 14 when we started you up, so you're getting real good. Nice, you're starting to sprint a little. Not as fast as them, but you're doing good. I dig it. Yeah, eat dust witches. Don't eat my rum, you bastards. <laughs> I do like the idea, though, that like, they sneak rum every once in a while. <laughs> it's funny. Alright, let's check on the scout team. Halt. Who are you talking to? Sergeant Garth. Dressed in terrorist garb, who are you? You're on Empire Dominion now, rat. Seize them for interrogation. Oh, this is not good. Dressed in terrorist garb. I'm an Empire fucking citizen. What do you- I want no trouble, what do you want from us? Good start, I'm glad to see you're law-abiding so far. First, you'll let me search your belongings for any illegal items. You're in United Cities territory, which we know. You don't tolerate smugglers here. Secondly, you'll show me where your allegiance lies, show your respects to your superiors, or we'll teach you the meaning of it. I don't want to grovel. <laughs> I mean, these guys are probably, there's like 50 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there's, we're, we would never defeat these guys. Ah, uh, we're just grovel. Good, now where you stand on the Empire Dominion? We are citizens, you fucking idiots. We're citizens. Oh, God. <laughs> really. <laughs> Getting on my fucking last nerves, United Cities. Alright, whatever. Whatever, you jerks. Oh, you fuckers. Making me grovel. <laughs> Yo, they're, they're wearing on my last nerve, hitting me with the, uh... Where are we? Hitting me with the fucking, uh... Yeah, we're, we're at such good relations with them, man. Fuck. Oh, they annoy me. Whatever. I'm just getting so tired of getting shaken down by them and having them be like, Halt, you're on United Cities Empire Domain. Like, bro, do you know who you're fucking talking to? Oh, there's a she these tower in here, too. This one's really far away, though. All right, well, let's get inside. Cody Ara. Got any smuggled goods you want to sell? I sure do want to take a look. No, this is also 500%. All right, so the other place is closer. All right. Done and done. Uh-oh. All right, we got a slave raid moving towards Desert Gamble. Hmm. All right. Okay. God damn it, man. I'm gonna have to do something about that stone camp. There's no way I can defeat the entire stone camp. I'm sure it's filled with, like, level 50 United Cities guards that'll become a big problem for me. I really would like to quietly assassinate whoever's leading that area. I don't know if that's actually going to be a possibility. Um, we just got out to Shobatai. I really don't want to, you know, maybe we'll run back. Stone camp's not moving that fast. Let's fucking run him home. There's no sense risking it. I, it feels kind of like a cheat. I don't know how Azagami and his team knows we have a slave raid coming, but they're going to, uh, they're going to head back to the base. They can come back out if they need to. It feels better than losing people in the, uh, a midnight slave raid. <laughs> I don't need a manhunter attack at the exact same time. A one-armed manhunter? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I don't give a shit. Do what you gotta do. We're almost there. And the slave raid approaches. So oh, Go, go, go. There it is. That's a sizable one, too. Yeah, I, you know, I swear to God, man. We're gonna have to just deal with this. We gotta go take a look over there. Zhang, keep a close eye out. Why don't you buy us some time and lock that gate? Buy the scout team some time to get home. <laughs> look at you bastards. Oh my god, we're, I'm gonna have to do it. I gotta just take care of the goddamn stone camp. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Don't you dare. Oh, actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Impressive outpost, I'll give them that. Damn straight it is. Impressive death you're about to fucking encounter. Oh, nice. They've they've concerned themselves mainly with the, uh... Ah, there they go. There they go. All right. Masagami, are you interested? No? There you go. Oh, my God. Couple of good hits. <laughs> somebody got hurt. Oh, look at all that green. Oh, shit. Are we getting fucking raided by somebody else, too? Oh, no. Is that Sad Neil? No, who is this? Oh, bounty hunters are helping. Oh, you guys are the best. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you. All right. I'll see. Well, this slave raid isn't going exactly how you guys expected it to, huh? <laughs> a 
Lovely. Fucking lovely. You stupid slavers. You got nothing. Good. You're all dead. <laughs> Slave raid was defeated. I didn't I really I didn't need to take them home. I'm gonna remember that next time. Cause it it feels like cheating. If like how would they know? How would they know there's a slave raid coming? Alright. Screw those guys. Oh, Thinly fell. Poor Thinly. Where are you? <laughs> Poor Thinly. Good. They come help him out. We'll put him in a bed. We'll let him rest up. Will the dog get hurt? A little bit. Everybody's fine. You guys are all so fine. Thank you, bounty hunters. You guys are the best. I hope you bought stuff. Alright, well, that was, uh, easier said than done, and everybody goes to bed. <laughs> Alright, good. Oh my god, the entire team's like, yeah, fuck it, I'm tired. How you guys doing? Can you hold down the fort? You're alright. Sasabi, you're not looking too, uh, good, but you'll be fine. Go to sleep if you want to. Oh, you know what? Where's your, uh... Your boss? War leader, there we go. Toshiki. First aid this idiot. And, uh, let's go ahead and pop them in a- in a prison cell. We'll go ahead and get them enslaved. You know, maybe we'll run these guys down to the stone camp and sell them back to their own people. Alright. Let's, uh, let's try to take the scout team. Fuck it, let's run back to Shobatai. Do we have enough time to make it before dark? It seems like we might. We're a smaller group, but that's okay. We're leaving Thinly behind to do some lockpicking training because I am going to reprioritize <laughs> at a much higher level. I'm going to reprioritize getting us over to uh, that stone camp and just taking a look at what's going on. Because I'm about done with it. I'm about over it. These stupid slave raids. A slave raid, now a tax collector. Mmm. Bastards. It doesn't let up. It never lets up in Kenshi. All right, we make it back to Shobatai. Let's see what you got in terms of, uh, blueprints. Anything good? What do you got? You got a few blueprints. Signage. Headquarters. Seems like it's gonna be the same thing over and over again. Advanced outpost blueprints. All right. Let's get this advanced outpost. And before we move on, let's see what that does. All right, we got advanced outpost blueprints. That let us learn how to build the metal wall house, which we had blueprints for, which is good, I guess. Uh, the metal wall house, metal warehouse, uh, is that building that I dislike. <laughs> the one that's, like, impossible to see inside. It's where all the, like, we keep, we found all those ancient science books and stuff. But whatever, we're on the way. I gotta find more friggin' outpost blueprints. We're really, we're gonna just be heading down to, um, we're gonna be heading down to the library. Is what's gonna happen. Alright. A way to stoat. Second to last leg of the journey. And, uh, you know what we can do? Oh, well, the farm trader arrived. We have goods- we have special goods for you, No Hive. You are all by yourself, my friend. That is a dangerous game. Is that your friends all back there? No, it's just Garo. Alright, let's go talk to this fool. <laughs> Where's he some more, huh? Oh, he's some more. Don't be stuck up there. Stock up while you can, human! Best prices around. You ain't got nothing. You got hemp, but I got hemp. I don't need anything from you at this point. Alright. Go- go shop for me. Go buy stuff. Oh, scout team's getting attacked. By what? Stupid manhunters? And what is out here? Rebel farmers? Lots of them? Don't you guys have enough going on? Jesus Christ. Alright, hold on. Let's see if we can not get all involved in a hundred people and just go over here. We'll fight the few manhunters for sure, but... I don't need to be involved in whatever the fuck is going on over there. Good. Take him down. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, look at you. Ha ha, come at me, I'll kill you. Who said that? Was that you, Atmos? I love it. Guys, please don't run off by yourselves. What is this? Outlaws. You're hostile? You're- you're a- you're a slave. You're screwed. Oh. Took a good whack there. 
Guys, you guys are taking nice hits from this dude. Who is this? Oh shit! That's really bad. <laughs> Why are we attacking the United Cities? Oh my god. Alright, this is not good. Who is this? Also United Cities. That's a diplomat. How did this happen? Oh my god. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We have to get away from here. <laughs> Everybody just fucking run the hell away. Get away. We don't need people seeing us commit crimes. If he wants to fight us out here, he can fight us out here. We gotta get the fuck away from this. Tax collector has arrived at Desert Gamble. Of course the tax collector has. Of course they have. Alright, just, just get out a little further. Here, get out to there. Everybody round up to- what is this? What is this? I don't need it right now. I don't need it, rebel farmers. Alright, somebody... Somebody help Azagami. I gotta go talk to the damn tax collector. <laughs> It's a fucking stupid ass game. Where are you? Why do you guys keep coming out by yourselves? Ahem. Yeah, alright. Shut up, Sergeant Mitsumi. Since you insist on setting up your outpost so far from the cities, let's get this over with quickly, citizen. I'm feeling hot and irritable. It's time for your tax payment. 400... 4,500 cats. It was 3,000 last time. Whatever. I'm, I, I can't... I'm, I'm paying it right now because we're in the middle of possibly killing... We're in the middle of, oh man, I was- I wanted to give him the, I'm not paying that, but we gotta hold up for a second. <laughs> we gotta just wait. Alright, they didn't follow us. Alright, let's see if we can make our way to Stoat. Safely. Jesus Christ. Alright, I don't know how the hell that happened. <laughs> Must have been collateral damage. I was wondering, like, why is this one manhunter doing so well? They're really hurting us. <laughs> They're all by themselves. They're just standing up. Well, it's what happens sometimes. Whatever. They did nicely. They realized their mistake and got the hell out of there. <laughs> Alright, so the thing I was about to do... ...before I was so rudely interrupted was say that, um... ...Thinley is fine with his lockpicking, because he's gonna take Hiramatsu with him. Well, you were the war leader, so... ...you're definitely gonna get turned in. We're gonna take you to your own slave camp and turn you into a slave. Here's what we'll do. We'll put Thinley to rest. When Thinly wakes up, we're sending him... We're gonna take them as an envoy to the slave camp and see if it goes bad. <laughs> see if that is a bad idea. There's nothing I love better than leaving a pile of dead bodies outside the base. You know, and the, the, the tips when you load in says it'll attract predators, which I was looking forward to because we could use the meat. I haven't seen a predator. Every once in a while we'll get a skimmer, but I was hoping dogs would start showing up. All right, Thinley's fine. We're gonna take, uh... Thinley. And Hiramatsu. And we're gonna go grab, uh... Grab ourselves a, uh... Prisoner. And run him down to that slave camp and see if this is a really bad idea. <laughs> let's see. All right. Let's get Hiramatsu. And... Uh, I bet that's the entrance. Let's get down to here. And we'll just go drop one of these- we'll just go drop this person in one of the cages. They're not gonna buy them off of us. But, uh, I've dropped them in cages before and they get- they get the immediate You're gonna love being a slave, like the whole spiel from the slave master, so Hopefully that means they will get enslaved, because I'm about done with them. Yeah, we'll take a look. We'll see what this, uh, slave camp actually looks like. If it's crazy... How, uh... How absolutely insane would it be to uh, either raid them or kill their leaders or just, you know, at least get a sense of what's going on there. Maybe it uh, is just something we learn we have to live with. We'll see. But maybe we could put together a plan to do something about these bastards. All right. Yeah. Like I said, we've been here before. We've been in here before. They don't care. They don't even care that we're holding this person. So I say we go for it. We're going to go in. All right. All seems good. We're going to get ourselves into the uh, slave traders like what is this called? Slave shop. There we go. We get into the slave shop, and uh, we're just gonna drop this person in a cage. We won't be allowed to sell this person. We can't even talk to anybody in here, so that's fine. Let's uh, put in cage. Boom. Now one of these people should get up and be like, "You're gonna." There you go. Well, it looks like they're helping. I don't know. It's tough to say. I want you getting arrested. Yeah, now you work for me, you don't get away that easy. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha! That's what you get! You get sold to your own people, they don't even care about you! Oh ho 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 ho. Alright, good. That makes me happy. 
Raid my base. They came out of here. Like, we saw the little white dot. They came out of here. So you raid my base, that's what happens. Uh, let's do this. Hiramatsu. Let's see what she does. Let's see how good she does. She is right in front of this person. It's the middle of the night. There, and he just noticed her that close. And he doesn't care. So let's find, uh, what do we got? A slave shop. What is this? Slave trader. Noble house. All right, let's go in the noble house. We're going in the noble house. Yeah, no one even notices. They're decent with their stealth, so... Let's see if we can get inside stealth. They don't even notice us going past. This is fantastic. All right, let's go in. <laughs> All right, it's light in here, so we should be careful. All right, it's a noble house. It's private. We're totally not supposed to be in here, so... Everybody's asleep. Here's a samurai heavy. Who is this? Slave Master Reuben of the Traders Guild. So we'd probably... I have stealth KO 0%, kidnap 0%. <sighs> All right, whatever. <laughs> what stupid game. All right. All right, we got to be careful about being in here. Do they got locked stuff they do? Is there anything locked downstairs that's a little easier to access? Let's grab a fancy rug for our place. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take that back home. Anything locked down here? Oh, shit, I didn't see that guy. Good thing I saw him at the last second. That's locked. All right, thinly can pick that. Let's see if we can get it done. They're all asleep. What time is it? Four in the morning? It's getting close. We're gonna do something crazy. Here we go. Here it goes. I'm not skilled enough. Out of bounds. Get out! Oh, shit, 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 shit. Who saw us? Who saw us? Well, let's stay sneaked. And let's, uh, let's get out the front door. <laughs> go fast. Go. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. All right, cool. Out of bounds, get out. We're, we got out, we got out. Don't even worry about it. We're out. We're out. <laughs> we got out. We're out. Everybody's awake now and they close the door. <laughs> All right, well, fuck you. Yeah, you're locked out. Your stupid friend's locked you out. Look, you can't see me. I'm a fucking stealth ninja. I am the shadow. Oh, they really, they locked the door. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick your lock. Kick this out, lock the door. <laughs> Come on, Hiramatsu. You got this. You got this before anybody- Oh, 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 oh. Who's looking? Okay, whoa, 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 stop, 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 stop. It's getting too bright, it's getting too... too middle of the day. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take a look at their guards while we're here. How, how, how top-notch are their guards? 22, 18, 18, hmm. I thought they were gonna be in the 50s. I mean, it would take my whole base. 22, 23, 20. We could probably come down here with, um, oh, this is another thing I want to, I want one of these in my base for, uh, for the harpoonists. Get them off the roof. We could probably hire some mercenaries and just set them loose. Like, they've got numbers. They don't have skill. They're about as skilled as us. Alright. Let's get you back to the... Back to the base. Back you go. What's this girl? What are you screaming girl? Why are you assaulting? Uh-oh. <laughs> are we not gonna get out of here? Here, let's wait over here for them. Let's see if this person catches up. Now, let's get a little bit further out of the sight of these, uh, guards. Let's see, it doesn't seem to draw the ire of the guards down there, that's good. Do you know what's gonna happen to you now? You're gonna get turned into a slave. Alright, well, the slave guards aren't coming after us. Let's do this. Let's loot this person. Oh, that fancy rug, I was like, what the hell is that? Oh, I'm happy we got that. Alright, let's get all your shit off of you. So you don't have anything. We don't want you having anything. You're not allowed to have stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's pick you up. And turn you into a slave. Alright, whoa, 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 turn around. Turn around, turn around. We'll just leave him to die in the desert. No sense getting ourselves into any trouble. Alright, we learned that it's definitely possible to... overtake that base. Probably with all the people we have. We could probably hire... Like, one to two bands of mercenaries and the scout team, and just destroy that base. And then probably just go run to the Traders Guild, 
and just talk to their diplomat and be like, sorry. <laughs> it had to happen. Bone Wolf, what the hell are you doing? You're playing limbs? <laughs> Why are you so far out doing this? Alright, go play limbs. You idiot. That's how you get hurt. Scout team, you guys have been standing around for quite some time. Good thing I didn't leave you in an illegal place, huh? Alright. Let's get these guys down to Trader's Edge. And hang. And, uh, yeah, if that place doesn't have, uh, what we need... I imagine the next episode will be a, a run straight to... What is that place called? A run straight to, uh... Black Scratch. Yeah, so like I was saying, I think, uh... I would imagine... We could probably hire... Like, just a mercenary team and a scout team. Maybe two mercenary teams if I had to. And take down that slave base. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Doing it, as long as we did it thoroughly enough and no one escaped... I probably wouldn't have... Who the hell is this? Goon the Vagrant. Is he coming to talk to us? We can talk to him. No, he was just gonna run past us. Food! All I want is food! Uh, would you like to uh, team up with us? We need people! Eat! You have food for me? <laughs> I don't know who in the hell's name you are, but right now you're my hero. Let's go. Yeah, you can have 2,500 bucks. It's fine. All right, Goem, Goen, you're with us. Uh, you know the deal, my friend, though. You gotta get yourself home. If you can run the gauntlet and get yourself home, you're on the team. You ate yourself a dust witch, good. Greetings, sirs. Oh, yes, I know, you want money. <laughs> good day, mister, your Traders Guild membership payment is now due 4,000 cats. There you go. You guys are the easiest ones to deal with. Man, I spent forty thousand dollars in this episode. <laughs> Fucking nothing to show for it. We should. I should take uh, Hiramatsu down to that stone camp just to steal, just literally to steal. Like whatever. Yeah, good. Come through. Why don't you shop? Go buy some shit from me. Man, there's always some hassle happening around here. Surprised we got in so easy. Always some fight. Some nonsense. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it. We made it down to Hang and Trader's Edge, and they had precisely zero in the way of good, usable blueprints. Uh, so I think that means for the next episode, the very first order of business is going to be a run to the Outlands, to uh, Black Scratch, uh, to check that library and see if they have the blueprints we need, because I would like to start building an outpost for our bar slash shop. Um, but we'll do that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.